growing up, we watched Steve Austin and the, you know, the Bionic Man, and we thought that was like science fiction, and here we are, and my father's getting a bionic eye. I got chills just talking about it. I'm completely blind. I'm okay. unhappy. It doesn't matter that everyone can see me. I can't see them. My father's loss of independence, in specifically in terms of mobility, has really, really been a detriment. The deafness, he always coped with it because that was a fact, but the blindness was kind of new for him because it happened later on in life. I eat and sleep. And if not for my wife who cares for me and makes sure that I have all my needs met, I would be helpless. She is that window into the whole world. Deafness is uh, isolating and blindness is disabling. And uh, when you see him interact, uh, he is very isolated from the world. Uh, and that's, uh, to me, a very scary sensation. He has an amazing family who has the capability of learning, having learned sign language and using sign language to his senses because uh, his sense of touch is really the only way he can communicate with the world. The way that I learned to use my hands to sign with my dad um, was through trial and error. No one sat down with me or my sister or my mom and, and demonstrated how it should be done. We have families that speak different languages or they're with different cultures, but to me this is, this is part of my culture. My, the sign language is part of my culture. We've learned to make sure that he understands exactly what he has to in order to appreciate the importance of whatever information is being presented. His overall condition is called Usher's Syndrome. It's a, an inherited condition where he was deaf and uh, becomes blind from retinitis pigmentosa, which is a retinal degeneration. It's a tunnel vision effect, so at their, their vision sort of closes down upon them and eventually, uh, once the tunnel vision develops, then the central vision will ultimately be affected. I think his primary goal was to be able to use the device to be able to have some rud rudimentary sign language so that he could use sight to communicate. Uh, hey, Jordan. We're ready for an extraocular testing. The only thing my father asked me about the surgery was when. There was no way that my father was going to accept being blind. Basically, there's, there's sort of two phases to the procedure. There's a procedure that's done on the outside of the eye and one that's done on the inside of the eye. And we place the exterior components to uh, the device on the outside of the eye. It's secured by placing them under some of the muscles of the eye as well as we place uh, stitches to secure them in place. Once that's done, there's a ribbon that connects to the internal device which contains the electrodes, it's what we call the chip, and we place that right on the retina overlying the macula, which is the center spot, of, the centermost area of the retina, uh, basically tacking it into place. So we place a tack through the device into the eye wall and it stays there. And everything looks good as expected, thank you. In order to get an image on the retina, we first have to capture that image. So there's a little camera that's in a pair of glasses. Basically, radio transmission, you get the si signal going from the external antenna to an internal antenna that has been placed on the eye. So that's a lot of lights. Lots of lights. Success for me is that the patient can make use of the vision in any way. And so that can be seeing where the window is, or it can be noticing when a person walks in front of him. Yeah, yeah. Yes, well, we saw you. What takes longer is to understand the light that they're seeing, because in the beginning it's very confusing. It's not like what they remember from the time they had normal vision. 
it's moving shadows and even that is only something they start to understand once they work with it longer. It's really remarkable to see what sort of drive and strength, inner strength he has to keep pushing on with his life. You're his hero. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming.